Hi, Holly Mecker here with your ECS Instructional Tech team. Let's check out the newest feature on IXL, Quizzes. Here I am logged into IXL. I'm on my dashboard. To find quizzes, there's two places you could go. First, there's a tab right here that says Quizzes, but you could always access quizzes by hovering over my IXL and clicking on Quizzes. If you have not tried out quizzes yet, your page should look like mine. Let's go ahead and try it out and let's create our first quiz. Let's go ahead and give it a name. For this one, I'm just gonna name it Practice Quiz. I'm gonna select a skill. Now you can select um, as many skills as you would like on your quiz. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one skill first. Um, notice it asks me what level skill I want. For this skill, I've got level one, two, and three. I'm gonna start with level one, and I'm gonna put on three questions. And I'm picking three because as I add them, I can now easily change so that I have a level one question, a level two question, and a level three question. If you're looking at the questions, you're like, yes, I want one level one, but I don't like this question. You can always generate a new question and it will continue to change those questions for you until you find one that you like. You can always um, organize them by dragging those three lines next to each question. So now I have three questions, all the same skill, different levels. Let's go ahead and add another skill. I'm gonna push the plus sign at the bottom. And this time I'm going to change a next skill. My first skill was this first one. Let's go ahead and just jump into place value. Ooh, notice this one has five, oh, six levels. Um, so maybe I'm gonna again add three. Six questions is kind of a lot. And maybe I'll add a level one. I'll add a level three and then I'll add a level five. That way I have an idea of where my students are falling in these questions without putting six questions on there. I have just created a six question quiz. Remember all questions are changeable by um, generating a new question. You cannot customize them, but you can rotate through until you find one that you like. And now I'm going to review and publish. Now that I have an idea of what this is, I'm gonna name it place value, practice quiz. Um, I can choose if I want students to see their results immediately or if I want to have them see them later. So I can either uncheck it or check it. I like students to see what they've gotten. And I can also select students. So I can sign into all of my students or I could select just a few of my students by going into fifth grade and starring who needs that quiz. When I'm done, I can publish the quiz. And now when I click on quizzes, you'll see I have an active quiz that has been assigned to three of my students. After your students are done, if you wanted to go over this as a class, you could always push the three dots and preview that quiz as a student and go through this with your students. Also, if you've worked on creating a quiz but you did not publish, they would fall under your quiz drafts. When you click on end your quiz, at the bottom of your page, you will now have your past quizzes and you're able to view your report. You'll notice on here, we didn't have any students complete this quiz. Um, so we don't have great data here, but you can see um, that you would have each student's score. You would have the question and how many students scored correctly on that question, um, along with the level on the side for easy access. IXL quizzes are a great way to do a quick formative check of your students, especially on those essential standards that we've already taught. It is also a great way to identify students that fall into question three of students who have not learned the content yet, and question four of those who have learned all of the content, and what should we do next. With this quizzes tool, you're easily able to identify students that fit into those categories, so you can plan what happens next with these students. So that's the new quiz feature. I hope you're interested in trying that out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.